so class 7 welcome back to our e learning class today uh, we will do some sort of revision work on the chapter on equality so this uh, we, while reading this chapter we have come to know about kanta we have come to know about the questions uh, which uh, just uh, came in her mind at first we can find her standing along with her uh, employer and uh, other society people or other human beings even uh, her neighbor was also there and some other people were also there she was standing along with them for the because they were waiting for casting their votes now after it was over kanta while she was just uh, returning back to her home she was just explaining her condition that uh, that means uh, what was going on in her house her daughter she was seriously ill but kanta could not take her to a doctor because she has to complete her work first in her employer's house from there she has to take some sort of advance after then only she can just take her daughter to the doctor even she understood that why her daughter she falls ill every now and then because the basti of the slum where she lived it's better to just use the present tense where she lives that basti is never cleaned and that is the main reason for her daughter's illness or frequent illness now when her work was over she asked for the advance at that time there is uh, her employer that means uh, the what was the surname of uh, this one her domain, her employer um, jain sahib jain sahib so we can just uh, see that uh, jain madam that she said that she, while uh, handing over or while uh, giving her the advance she even warned her that don't make it a habit she didn't try to understand that what actually the condition is in her home her daughter is ill she cannot take her to the doctor and she requests money so that she can take gudiya to the doctor but while she was asking for the advance at that time also jan madam she was saying that don't make it a habit then when she has gone to the hospital the government hospital because she was uh, not having the money enough to take her daughter to any uh, private hospital or to any uh, private uh, doctor she has to stand in a long queue and she was just thinking when her time will come and she will uh, take her daughter to the doctor that means uh, her daughter's diagnosis will be done and there she was thinking that during the time of casting vote we all might be seen but apart from that we are not equal in each and every matter so many differences are there so many discriminations are there then after kanta we have come to see or we have studied the story of this om prakash balmiki and his answerings there also we have seen that what sort of discrimination what sort of problem or what sort of harassment the child like om prakash balmiki or the people like the answerings they had to confront they had to face om prakash balmiki he had gone to school but while as uh, he was uh, belonging to a dalit family while her was well, sorry while his classmates they were attending classes he was cleaning the school and that too it was observed by the 
hit master and there, is, there was such loss of dignity that others they were watching that a student has come to the school to study instead that particular student is cleaning the school is cleaning the playground and for the answer is even if they had money enough they were not get, getting any house where they can stay because of their surname because of their uh, religion they were not getting any place to stay they were also just treated unequally and their dignity was violated so this equality in indian democracy the indian constitution has tried the indian constitution has tried to just make everything quite normal the constitution had tried to provide safeguard it is still trying to just abolish this uh, system of inequality the system of discrimination but still today we can find lots of discrimination lots of inequalities in our society now it, it, we cannot just uh, throw all the responsibility on this constitution or all the responsibilities upon this constitution we also have to take some sort of measures we are, we also have to take some sort of initiatives to just remove this type of vice from the society we should just think that the person who is standing in front of me deserves some sort of respect if i pay respect to him then in return i will also get back my respect my dignity will not be violated so children the question answers also we have completed but uh, i have also already just uh, said you that you must be preparing the chapter properly and that too how you must read thoroughly you must read the chapter thoroughly because you will get inside questions from this chapter during your exam okay children bye